Hi, I'm Lewis. I'm an acting wall manager on Beach Unit at Torbay Hospital. As my career developed into a more leadership role, I decided to do a formal mentor qualification. Without all of the sort of learning opportunities that I've had clinically, I feel that I would have been a bit of a novice. Now I feel like I've got confidence and conviction with how I'm progressing and how I can manage and lead the team. If the patient's feeling the benefit of some of these evidence-based professional development opportunities that we're doing, that's only going to have really positive outcomes for them in their care. I would proactively encourage all other ward managers and clinical team leaders and supervisors actually to make sure that their staff are being supported with their continued professional development. I applied for work experience because I was doing my postgraduate study and I thought it would be a really good opportunity for me to experience um, the field of mental health. When I was doing my work experience I found it really beneficial and I certainly got an idea about what services I might like to go into. From then I was able to apply for jobs uh, within DPT and I got my current position which is a trainee psychological wellbeing practitioner. I feel that the experience has really benefited me in my current job. Without my work experience, I don't think I would be in the role that I am now. This is because during my work experience, I was able to get a good knowledge and a good understanding of the services that are out there, and it gave me the skills to, to go for the interview. I've worked within the Trust for 24 years, and I've done a number of different jobs within the Trust. Then there was the opportunity to do the Assistant Practitioner's degree, and I had lots of support and encouragement from my team about, yeah, you should go for it. When I finished the end of my foundation degree, we were given the opportunity through the trust to apply for university to do our nurse training. And luckily I was successful along with a few of my colleagues. Yeah, it's given me massive confidence. It isn't an option for me to have financially done it myself. So I think the fact that I don't have to worry about the financial implications and that the trust are supporting me through that is massive. So this was that opportunity to go and become a nurse. I was diagnosed with dyslexia when I was at school and I've been given a one-to-one -one tutor. I thought it would hold me back and I wouldn't ever get to the end of my degree. The trust will support you to get assessments and things and then you can get support throughout your course. I am a communications assistant apprentice. I went to college but I ended up leaving early actually because I was having problems with my mental health planned to go to uni until then and everything went a bit wrong. Um, so I ended up going away, but when I came home I realised that I really wanted a qualification. So for me an apprenticeship was perfect because not only would I get loads of experience but I'd also come out with a qualification as well. I think there's kind of a stereotype that you get put to do the rubbish jobs, but my team have just let me do everything, supporting me and encouraging me and building my confidence the whole way through, so they've just been really great. The benefits for the employer of having an apprentice is that they have someone new and fresh, someone who wants to learn, is really keen to learn. If this was a job I probably wouldn't have had the experience before to get it, so it's been kind of a pathway for me into the industry which I've really valued.